From out of the back pages of history, the story of Cuban exile pilots in the Congo, CIA contractors fighting against Castro-backed Congolese rebels. Many Bay of Pigs veterans, detailed here in a recent story on NBC Miami. Now, video like this, pictures like these, on Facebook, on the internet, the sons of pilots connecting. All these kids really need to know what their dads and, you know, what they did. I love being able to, you know, say, hey, that's my father. And there's lots about those dads on this Facebook page, which appeared within hours of the NBC Miami story. And I start emailing it to all my friends, and, you know, they start saying, wow, this is cool. Digitalized 8mm film surfaced after the story was broadcast. The contribution of the family of the late Congo pilot, Rene Traviso, valuable for a generation of now 40 to 50 year old Cuban American sons and daughters who know little of the 1960s CIA mission that took their fathers to Africa, some to their deaths. Yeah, I was five years old when my father was killed in the Congo and I knew very little about it until recently I I put in a posting on a, on a Facebook and it just went wild with the responses. This must have been one of the aircraft that, that went down. Or had some Arthur Piquet has a small collection of memorabilia, including film he promises to put to tape, post on the web. This Bible actually flew on, on the missions and it's signed by the pilots. The same for Jack Varela, his dad who led air missions in the Bay of Pigs and the Congo. He too has pictures, has film, he too connecting with long lost friends and a surprise about his father. I just found out on Facebook, um, this is him right here, that, that was his best friend and I just found out from his son that my father was his godfather. History being revealed and reverberating. What was once just sentimental clutter kept in a closet now has context. Yeah, over the years I haven't paid much attention to this, this stuff and, and all of a sudden it's just come to life in, in full force. It's just, it's just become center stage right now in my life. And for Arthur Piquet, a peek into the life of the father he really never knew. It's now on the web, on Facebook. As soon as I put my father's name down, the information just started flowing. And it's pretty amazing. Just amazing as a story itself, meaningful to a whole new generation. Many who never knew. Hank Tester, NBC, Miami.